Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Bit One Grade. So uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about how to get the uh, information from a candlestick or a K line information from Binance Futures Exchange. Okay, so you're gonna learn how to get K line data from Binance. Futures exchange. Okay. So, if you go to, if you go to the uh, Binance Futures website, and if you go uh, take a look at the uh, the chart, then you're gonna see like candle, right? And in this video, we are going to learn uh, how to get the information like uh, like uh, open, high, low, close. All this information come from each uh, candlestick, and we are going to learn how to get this information uh, from uh, Binance Futures Exchange using uh, REST uh, API okay, and the uh, Python. Okay, so and uh, we are going to use uh, two libraries. Uh, first is the request, and uh, second is the uh, pandas. This is the quite famous uh, library for uh, data analysis. Okay. So uh, you start with the import request and import pandas as pd. Okay. Uh, because uh pandas is kind of long so uh for this uh code uh, we're going to use the uh uh the shortened form which is defined to be pd okay and uh we are going to start with the definition for a symbol with which i'm going to use the imax usdt in single quote okay. and the time interval will be uh, for this video, uh, I will set it to be five. Okay, so uh, this code will try to get the information for uh, IMAX USDT, which is one of the tickers on listed on Binance Futures Exchange, and uh, we are going to look for information for a five minute candlestick. Okay, so. So to get the uh, information we want from Binance Exchange, we have to uh, request using uh, URL, and the URL uh, starts with uh, this. Okay, so uh, so we are going to define URL to be HTTPS semicolon slash slash f api dot binance dot com slash f api slash v1 slash k lines question mark symbol equal end of uh, single quote okay. and plus symbol and symbol is defined to be imax usdt okay and and uh, there's another uh, condition which is the uh, interval and this is defined to be five okay the time interval and here okay and the str makes this uh, integer into a uh, st string And since it's okay. since uh, this is a five minute uh, candlestick, we're going to add a uh, M in a single quote, okay. And I'm going to add another condition, which is the limit, okay. Uh, under a single quote, and limit equals to hundred. So uh, this. Uh, request will uh, retrieve a uh, hundred uh, data points from uh, Binance Futures Exchange server, okay. and and uh, and we are going to define data, which will be the data come from Binance server, and this is defined to be request dot get uh, open. Uh, parenthesis URL 
close parenthesis dot json open parenthesis and close parenthesis okay so uh, this will give us the uh, data in a uh, in a uh, json format okay and okay so uh, let's uh let's run this part okay, okay. so if we uh, look at the what data okay so here uh the Binance Exchange gave us uh, data in this form, in this uh, format. Okay, but this is uh, not easy to uh, read. Okay, so uh, we're going to use a uh, uh, Python and uh, put this into data frame uh, format. Okay, so recipe. Let's uh, run this part. Okay. Okay, so uh, this will give us D. D is defined to be this. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is a uh, pandas uh, data frame uh, format. Okay. So and uh, there will be uh, twelve columns. Okay, and uh, hundred row because uh, we set the limit to be hundred. So we got hundred uh, uh, rows of data from uh, Binance Futures Exchange. Okay. And uh, the the name for the columns are in uh, number. Okay. So and this is not user friendly. Okay, so we're going to assign names for uh, each column. Okay, and uh, it turns out that the first column is the open time, and second is open, and and then uh, high, low, close, volume, and close time, and. Uh, Next one is the QAV. This is the uh, quote asset uh, volume. Okay. And next one is the number of trades. Uh, next is the taker buy base asset volume. Uh, then taker quote uh, taker buy quote asset volume. And uh, last one is uh, this best match. Okay. Uh, so probably the the main uh columns would be open time open high low close volume and uh close time okay uh these would be the most uh, useful ones okay. and and uh k line information are uh essential information for uh to uh to produce uh technical indicators like uh RSI or moving average. Okay, but these uh these uh technical indicators they require uh previous uh uh, uh data on uh on uh price. Okay, so uh, using K line information, you can you can make uh your your own in technical indicators or other widely used uh, indicators like RSI or moving average okay so uh let's run this code again okay so uh okay now uh because uh, we assigned the column name now we get like a uh, uh data frame uh with the uh, column names assigned okay open time open high and this is a uh, there are uh 12 columns so uh, like uh this the your computer would uh, give you uh shortened okay information so if you want to look at the uh close uh information from a close uh, column this is not shown here okay so you put uh this the uh data frame that we defined and then you put a uh, close here then you can get information from uh close okay this is the uh, uh data for uh close uh prices okay and if you uh take a look at the uh data frame okay then uh you're gonna notice the open time this is in uh unix time okay and you can see that the, the most recent one is on the last column okay okay 
Okay, so uh, let's see if uh, this is uh, in line with the uh, information we see on uh, on the website. Okay, so uh, here, if you look at take a look at this. Okay, uh, open is one point six four eight nine. Okay, and you can notice that here one point six four eight nine. So okay, this is the information for the most recent candlestick. Okay. And the high is 1.6520. Okay, and we also can see that this is uh here. Okay. So uh I, I think uh this is a very uh useful uh information uh technique to get the uh K line information from Binance Futures Market and uh, I, I think this is a very important one uh if you are uh, trying to make an uh, automated trading bot or uh some other uh, data analysis uh, program. Okay. Okay, and uh, this is the uh, end of this video. And I will come back with uh, uh, other uh, useful uh, videos on uh, Binance Futures Exchange. Okay. Thank you for watching.